in from Chile just to be on our show. Ruth Van Werbeek, mm -hmm. uh, you are originally from Belgium, but That's you're right. living in Chile. That's right. Did you marry a Chilean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you love Chile. It's a wonderful country. Why should people go and visit Chile? Well, for lots of reasons. For good weather, yes. we have a five-month sun and sunny weather, and then we have great wines. Great wine and good food, seafood and everything. Uh, that's why we're co we're cooking with wine today. Mm -hmm. But I want to talk about your lodge there. People can go down to Chile, mm -hmm. stay at your lodge, and you teach them how to cook. They cook, right. they drink wine, they enjoy the beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. What is your lodge called? Mapuyampai, Mapuyampai, which means land of resplendence in the Mapuche language um, in, in, from Chile. But I'm also a winery chef. I'm the winery chef for Concha y Toro, which is Chile's leading winery. Okay. And since the year 2000, I travel around the world and I sort of come up with nice dishes to pair with the wines. And I think it's a great thing. Wine and food are made for each other and there's nothing like a great wine with good food. And that's why we're cooking with wine this mm -hmm. morning and we have their website on the Breakfast Television uh, website and they can go and get the recipes that you have here exactly. and that we're going to make right now. Right. So what are we making? Well, we have a Cabernet Sauvignon from Marquesa Casa Concha, which is a great cab, and I'll talk a little bit about it in a little, in a while. Okay. But let me just start cooking. We have we some, have some lamb chops, okay. center cut lamb chops that I marinated in good olive oil, garlic, and rosemary and a little parsley. Very nice. If you have an outdoor grill, that's what you should do. In Chile, we do a lot of grilling. La Parillada in South America. And in Chile, eat, you yeah. want to be outdoors. You want to be outdoors because Ooh. you have. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Uh, now, you marinated this. What do we yes. have here? Is this what you well, marinated? We're going to serve it with a pesto. Oh, because a pesto. When you cook with wine, what is the most important is the way you cook. Mm -hmm. And grilling is great for a cabernet. Okay. A cabernet that was uh, for a few months, well, actually quite a few, 14 months in oak barrel. So you have that smokiness in there. Yeah. You have the smokiness when you grill or do pan frying. But my sauce is the most important. Okay. I think of a wine as a second sauce. So it's like part of my dish. Yeah. I bring it into my dish. Let me just have a look at this. Yeah, perfect. How long does this take? It takes about three, three minutes to size. Before it's done? It. Yeah. Nice. And here we have a pesto. And let's check the ingredients. We have toasted almonds, uh -huh. green olives, uh -huh. mint, Olive oil and a little orange juice. And this is, we put this all together to you make our very own pesto. And you make your own pesto. This is a great pesto. But why did I choose it? When you have a Cabernet, this is a Cabernet that comes from the Puente Alto Valley. It's the, one of the major valleys for cab growing. Uh, same with Napa and Bordeaux. So it's a very elegant Cabernet. It has cassis flavor. The oakiness is right there. So what I'm looking for, I have some bitterness. Uh -huh. I have some bitterness right here. I have fruit. I have fruit right here. The mintiness you have in there too. We have lots of eucalyptus growing in Chile. And there's a little bit of eucalyptus right there in the Puente Alto Valley, believe it or not. So when I do things like that, what I want people to do is that Taste the wine and taste a little bit of the sauce and sort of recognize taste certain all those flavors. those flavors and recognize so what they are. It's so difficult when people yeah. say, they drink wine, they say, what does it, what does it, what's it taste like? Well, it tastes like wine. Yeah. And then you let them taste this and, yeah, there's bitterness, there's smokiness, there's fruit, there's this, there's this. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's talk about the other dishes that if people yes. go on the website, they can get the recipes for these mm -hmm. as well. What do we have here? Well, this is a very versatile wine, so you can serve it with lots of dishes. We made a coco vin, uh -huh. a little Asian coco vin. This has a little star anise with it, with the red wine and everything, the mushrooms. And then we have a quinoa risotto. Right here. Quinoa risotto with dried mushrooms, with manchego cheese, and also a little wine in there, bacon. Beautiful, almost, almost vegetarian dish. Still, you can have it with the Cabernet. Okay, and then and right then here at the end a, here? This is a quince glazed pork, uh, pork loin that we put on the grill with a pea a puree and a little sauce. Again, the sauce is important. These wines have character, personality, they're elegant. So that we serve it with a chimichurri sauce, which is a very um, uh, flavorful dip, all raw ingredients. Uh, and then you can serve it with a lot of dish. So I really uh, urge you to go to the website and get the recipes. Okay, so we're gonna have that recipe on breakfasttelevision.ca. We're also gonna have the, rest of the website for your lodge. If people are interested in going down to your lodge. Uh, price point on this wine? $21? 
2195 22 not bad yeah, so good no, price a, point as well wonderful value well enjoy your time in toronto i know this is the I first will. time that you've been here and there you go voila we've plated it it is beautiful and so thank you so much it. it was so nice to meet you wonderful to be here taking a break we'll see you with more bt after this very nice